Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. So we are currently in a relatively low orbit around Val and we want to start heading back homewards. So I'm thinking either a very low or very high Joule orbit will do. So we want a orbit around Joule around the equator with as close to zero inclination as possible. So in order to do that we will first have to escape from Val and we will do that by burning towards 90 degrees. That should get, take care of some of our inclination and then we will further adjust it I suppose. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Okay and when we just before we start burning we will in fact we must make sure that we are controlling from the right yes yeah, see from the right uh, command pod we want to use the computer core here instead of the main pod because well that changed our nav ball orientation this pod is obviously pointed the wrong way and you know Okay, so I suppose we need to turn around and then we will dump these and get on our way. Okay, close, getting closer, getting closer. I'm gonna turn on the RCS to help break our turn. We have plenty of maneuvering fuel left, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, 90 degrees. It's flexing a bit, but that should be okay. Okay, now then, undock these. And that engine is still on. Oh my. But slight acceleration, hopefully. Ooh. How bad, how bad, how bad, how bad. Oh crap. <sighs> nah, it's good, it's good. It's good. Our guys and me nearly had a heart attack, but it's good. Wait, why is there still a docking port on here? That's what it caught on. Why was that there? That shouldn't have been there. That must be a bug. I mean, that should have been released a way, 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 way ago. Yes, let's use 2x time warp. We should be able to use that much safely. And let's just go for an escape. In fact, we can offset our path from the 90 in degrees in order to further whoa yeah exit the time warp exit the time warp all right so let's just try to get out of val orbit without <laughs> further accidents <laughs> oh this mission has had been going far too smoothly up until now. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can always try to escape in the actual final stage of the lander here. In any case, so... And there's Tylo, which we will not be hopefully going to or hitting or whatever. That is... That orbit has shifted quite a bit towards where we want it to be, which is good. That is slowly getting spent, but I believe this final stage, as long as we have that, should be more than enough to get us back to Kerbin. Especially with a load this small. Okay, so that's... 1150 kilometers I don't know what the sphere of influence for this planetary body is it shouldn't be much bigger than that 
we should certainly be able to park in between Val and Tylo orbits safely. Which is a, what I think I will attempt to do, in fact. Okay. Hold it there, just shift our trajectory slightly. And you can see that we are kind of a, really offset as in regards to the our actual trajectory, but that's because we're trying to shift our orbit some. In fact, we don't want to shift it anymore northwards. Let's just burn prograde at this point. Okay, there we go. That looks... Actually, like a bit too much. And we can't really adjust with RCS effectively. Actually, no. Screw that. We'll park outside Tylo orbit then. That's an encounter. And... About 75,000 kilometers should be about right. So... Okay, if we set Tylo as target, that gives us a minus 1.4% ascending node, which is not too bad. Definitely something we can work with. It's not a big deal, and let's do our adjustment. Well, let's push our periapsis out to the appropriate... Uh, to the appropriate altitude above Joule, and then we can adjust our nodes and match up our angles properly. Yeah, this worked out pretty well. Not perfect, but then we were starting from a highly non-equatorial orbit on Val, so it's to be expected. Come on. No, 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 no. Turn back, turn back, turn back. Okay. No, park on it. There we go. 90 degrees, exactly. That should be good. That fuel is... Okay, I think. Don't have to ditch that just yet, so we're good on that. Okay, nearest approaches and all that. We can safely ignore that, I think. We're outside its sphere of influence here, so we should be good. That would be a collision course, which... Yeah, well, let's just keep going. Ooh, slingshot, nice. But I'll pass on that too. Okay, 60... What are we at? 75 or so. Okay. 66, 67. Nearly there. Okay, I want to be outside its sphere of influence so there's no chance of us getting captured by it, if at all possible. So. A bit higher than necessary is actually better. And here we have a descending node, which means we want to burn like this. Ooh, that's too much. Just even it out. We want no nodes. 0, 0.0. Yep, that's about as good as we're gonna get. So, we need to point northwards now and apply some 42 meters per second in 5 hours. Okay. And then we get to do the other ship, which should be easier since it's in orbit around one of the smaller bodies. RCS, there we go. Excellent.
All right, and time warp. Watch the timer. Don't overshoot. Okay, one hour, thirty minutes, and five. Time warp a tiny bit more. Okay, twenty seconds. Time to burn. There we go. Executing maneuver. And cut the engines. We are, I believe, good. More or less as planned. Excellent news. So, let's just switch our focus to the appropriate moon, namely Paul, and try to focus on the other ship. Alrighty. Okay, fuel on this is looking... This is nearly spent, we'll have to ditch that. I believe we may be in a 270 orbit on this one. Are we though? Ah, let's just make sure that we are focused on the proper command pod. Control from here, yes, right, we are facing the wrong way. Fair enough, fair enough. And the landing engine is not shut down. Fair enough. Employing that to slow our turn. There we go. And I believe... Where are we in the orbit? Okay, we will need to wait until we hit yay this point. So... Let's just accelerate until we are there. And we'll need to turn around, of course. Of course. Still, RCS goes a long way. I used RCS to initiate my turn, and now I'm using the stabilization systems to slowly, you know, to start slowly stopping it, and we finish stopping it with the RCS, and fix on the 90. And now we accelerate. There we go. Slight shift towards there, that should be fine. And we have an escape trajectory. Huh, that's going down. Okay, let's just escape and we can fine-tune later. Okay, and if we set... Okay, minus 4.3, not excellent, but okay. And let's just make sure to push out the other side as well. We'll need to burn slightly more towards north in order to start compensating for our orbital inclination. Okay, time warp off and turn the ship. Okay. Watch that node, watch that periapsis. Okay. We'll have to probably have to do another adjustment here, but I just want to make a start of it here, save a bit of fuel and I totally spaced on that, didn't I? Goodbye, fuel pod. Okay, that is nearly at the proper altitude. Okay, I believe we have excluded any possibility of being recaptured by, well, anything really. And another Manure, this one only 38 meters per second. It's actually not moving that quickly in relation to Joule at this altitude either. Wondering... I might have do a... You know, dive towards Joule, drop into a lower altitude and then burn for escape. But I don't think that, even though that would probably be more effective, that it would be really necessary with the amount of fuel I have left 
all the reserves I built in seem to have paid off rather nicely and uh, it does not seem like fuel is really a problem which is just excellent news since I was a bit worried about that but let's just burn this off and because you know we have a lot of Delta V in the interplanetary stage and the lander has enough fuel to continue onwards as well so if things go badly I mean if we run out of fuel on that okay so how is our planetary alignment okay I'm just gonna wait for a bit while the stars align and we are in position to rock and roll Okay, we want 90 degrees between our home planet and our planet. I think I might be wrong. I might very well be wrong. Let's set that as target for one. Okay, zoom in. Alright, if we was to do that, that would drop us into a lower orbit. It would leave us with a node is bad ish okay so how bad is it okay that's a pretty close pass actually ooh we have an encounter just like that okay okay so we're good on that I think I will split this video into two parts, so in the next video we will actually go for an escape and get home. But we'll start that with the Val ship first, I believe. Anyway, I'll see you in a second.